What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video and we're just going to be recapping the UFC Fight Night Hall vs Silver. I made my predictions uh, in my uh, video on Friday about what I thought would happen. I skipped the uh, Kevin Holland and Makamed Muradov fight. But we're going to jump into what my predictions were and uh, what, was, uh, what was right and what was wrong. So I'm going to start just with the basic, you know, who won and who lost. Technically, I got every fight right. My, my suggestions were that Tiago Moses would win, uh, Greg Hardy would win, Bryce Mitchell would win, and Uriah Hall would win. The only thing I got right was the method of one fight, uh, and that was the Greg Hardy fight, but we'll, we'll go for him now. So to start with the Bobby Green and Tiago Moses fight, I said that Bobby Green would um, lose this fight by submission. I thought that Tiago Moses would tire him out, being the younger fighter, and uh, eventually... Um, put him away by submission in the third. I was wrong. That ended up being a full, um, a sub, a not a submission, but a full decision fight. And uh, Tiago Moses edged the first and the third round in those ones. Uh, did go for a submission attempt, but unfortunately uh, didn't didn't get it in. And then we jump to the Maurice Green versus Greg Hardy. I said that Greg Hardy will probably put him away in the first round by KO uh, because Maurice has lost by KO before. Hopefully no illegal shit and should be an easy night for Hardy. Uh, Hardy proved that his power does extend into the second round. He outstruck him badly, uh, got a takedown in at some point, and uh, yeah, outstruck him the whole time and knocked him down and put him away in the second. So uh, Hardy managed to show his power does at least go through into the second round. So hopefully in his future fights, uh, he'll be able to prove it goes into the second and the third and uh, not be completely gassed, just throwing huge terrible shots in later, later fights. Hopefully he proves that he's not just a first round fighter and that you know he carries on. Then we move on to the co-main event, uh, Bryce Mitchell versus Andre Feely. I thought Bryce Mitchell would win this by submission in the second round. I thought given his track record of having much more submission victories than anything else, uh, he's on a tear and I thought that uh, Andre Feely really wouldn't be able to hang with him for three rounds. Um, I was right, the fact that Andre Feely wouldn't be able to beat him. Uh, he was wildly outstruck. Uh, you know, Bryce Mitchell took him down seven times of 13 attempts. Uh, did go for a submission attempt, but, but didn't get it in either. Uh, but, you know, it's fair play to Bryce Mitchell. Proved he'd go the full three rounds with someone at Andre Feely's level. You know, Andre Feely's got tons of experience. It's really cool for Bryce Mitchell to be able to get that in, especially in his camo shorts. He proved he deserved those camo shorts, and he got them. And he won in them as well, more importantly. And last but not least, we have got Uriah Hall versus Anton Silva. I said with fair judging, I think Uriah Hall would win on points. Dodgy judging, I say Silva. Or my wild guess is that Hall TKO Silva um, in general or with a leg kick. Um... This was a sad fight to see, obviously, with, with Silver losing. I didn't want to see either of these guys lose, uh, but, you know, it made more sense for Silver to lose, as, as horrible as that sounds, because Uriah Hall still does have a career. Silver is never going to be champion again. He's never going to fight again, I don't believe. Or at least I hope not, anyway, especially not at a professional level. If I, if I ever see him fighting again, I hope it was sparring with headgear on, because I don't want to see him carry on. You know, he's not ruined his, his reputation, because he is a Hall of Famer. He is a great, and uh, he'll always be a legend. Sad to see him lose. Um... But, you know, Hall, uh, Hall seemed good last night. Uh, he, the way he dropped Silva was was a fantastic um, counter-right, I believe. Uh, it was really a, a, a clean, clean counter-right, uh, you know, nice crisp. It showed that he's still got that, that top-tier strike. And, and hopefully, with the with the right the right team behind him, and uh, he can prove he's a contender again and get right up there. And uh, maybe if he gets one or two more wins in, maybe have a rematch with Paul Acosta, try and beat Paul Acosta and prove that he deserves a, a title shot at some point in his career. But didn't seem to outstrike one another too much. Their striking statistically is rather close with uh, 61 to 57 and 60 to 53 in total strikes and significant strikes. Uh, the only difference was Uriah Hall's two knockdowns and the uh, the eventual ground and pound finish. Was sad to see Silver go out that way. I was hoping it would rather be a bit of a sparring match, a, uh, you know, a decision and not see Silver get hurt. But that is the world of combat sports. You know, once you're in the cage, someone you don't care if they're old, young, about to retire or a legend, you don't want to lose. So no, I respect that. Um, I respect Hall for, for going out there and, and putting him away uh, in round four. But yeah, so I got every fighter correct with Hall, uh, Bryce Mitchell, Greg Hardy, and um, Thiago Moses. I've also, one thing I did notice is uh, Kevin Holland didn't actually fight Makamed Maradov. He fought Charlie Ontiveros. Uh, it was obviously a short notice fight, I assume. Uh, it's, it's the first round submission. It seems, from statistically, I didn't actually watch this fight, is... Uh, 
Kevin Holland has taken him down and just beat him up and then made him tap. Uh, uh, Charlie Otelvaros only landed two shots and only threw two shots. So not much of a fight there. Uh, so I'm glad I did skip that one. But yeah, so uh, yet again, pretty bang on last event. A three for four. This event, four for four. So I'm happy with that. So yeah, let me know your thoughts on this uh, event. And next up is UFC... I apologize for the abrupt cut, guys. Uh, yeah, the next event is UFC Fight Night. Uh, Tiago Santos versus Glover Teixeira, which is a great main event. Uh, Andre Alofsky on the co-main event against Tanan Boza. Uh, Bosa, have you want to pronounce the name? And not too much of a great. The only other card fight I'm interested in is Claudia Gadella is on that main card as well. And uh, for the preliminary card, no one I'm too fussed about. Darren Elkins is there, but he never really makes too much of a mark on me. Uh, so I will cover that one. But then after that, we've got UFC 255 with two fight two flyweight title fights, male and female. So that'll be an interesting fight to see um, happen. And I will talk about that one as well. But uh, yeah, I will catch you guys. If you only watch these videos, I'll catch you guys in the next predictions of Santos versus Tejera. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.